fantastic. It was great being on the field. It was wonderful being able to share with my family. Hi, I'm Eric Ides from Sykesville, Maryland. Uh, first diagnosed with uh, liposarcoma in May of 2009, and thanks to the efforts of Dr. Gamliel and Dr. Citron, uh, I was uh, in remission for about a year. Uh, as of December 2010, uh, the cancer has moved around a little bit, and I'm treating with Dr. Schrader, who's uh, making his best effort to keep me around for next year's event. My name is Maria Kaiser. I'm 63 years old. I was born in Guayaquil, Ecuador. A few months ago, through advanced radiology, I went from my mammogram, and they did find that I have a small uh, cell that was malignous cancer. Um, my primary doctor suggests the best surgeon, best surgeon in town, Dr. Schultz, whose kindness and knowledge has made me a very happy survivor. Hi, my name is Marion Katz. I'm from uh, Owens Mills, Maryland, and I've been a cancer survivor for around uh, two and a half years. Hi, my name is Rosalind Gray, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in May, and I had to stop in July of 2011. Hi, I'm Kim Lasseter. Uh, I was diagnosed with breast cancer on September 26, 2008. And I was uninsured at the time. Uh, I was not working because of a, of a previous health problem. And well, the first thing I did after I cried all weekend was call every hospital in town uh, to see if they would take me. And um, the only place that would see me without already having insurance was St. Joe's. Uh, the other hospitals would help me go through the process of applying for state-sponsored insurance or a breast cancer treatment program, but they wouldn't let me actually be seen by a doctor until I had the insurance in the bag. And St. Joe's was the only place that would just get me get me started, uh, regardless of my ability to pay. So I just wound up there, and I didn't realize till later that I wound up at the best cancer clinic, you know, that you could possibly find. It's Dr. Schultz. I accidentally wound up with Dr. Schultz, and it turns out he's like the best breast cancer surgeon in the whole mid-Atlantic region. You know, he's famous, um, and he did a fantastic job. Uh, well, going through it has been a rough experience, as anybody who has to do it knows, but uh, I really gives you an appreciation for your family and friends and your relationships with people and uh, puts a whole different perspective on your life. It's nice to be able to um, stay part of life, participate in life. It's made me appreciate uh, family and all of that kind of stuff and push Work, work gets done, but it's it's not to be all and end all anymore. My journey through cancer has made me more happier, and I enjoy my family more. Number one is that that'll get your priorities straight in a hurry, yeah. and that you you appreciate life so much more. It sounds like a cliche, but you really do. It's like, hey, I'm alive. Everything else is gravy. You don't sweat the small stuff. It just makes you uh, appreciate life and appreciate people. Everybody there is, without fail, as nice and compassionate and as caring as anybody I've ever met. And without their care, I don't think I'd be here today. I really appreciate it. The only thing I can say is thank you. God bless them all because everybody was so personal to me and they were the It wasn't just a number. I was a person. I was money. Oh, they're the best. They absolutely the best. Um, I couldn't have been in a better place. I'm happy to say the St. Joseph chemo team, Don and the girls, and Frank the volunteer. Oh, I don't want to lose, leave Susan.
and fields out the nurse, and they have been great with me. I appreciate you guys also, and I love you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for, for doing what you do, for caring so much about what you do, for putting so much effort into what you do, and for bringing your A-game every day to every patient. It really sums it up. Thank you for saving my life.